Good morning and welcome to our virtual topping off ceremony. I'm going to pause for just one moment and do a sound check and then we'll get going. We're good. OK, we're good to go. So today is about celebrating yet another milestone in our campus renewal plan. We opened our South Campus in Springboro in the fall of 2015 and the spring of 2016, and we opened our new patient tower in 2017. Now we're taking one more step in our master plan facility plan by adding the new outpatient specialty care center, which will open in the spring of 2023. The $107 million project includes four floors of clinic space with a fifth floor of shell space for a total of 152,000 square feet. You see a rendering of the new building behind me. This is a key step toward our vision to reinvent the path to children's health. We must have facilities that reflect the vision and support our hospitals, of our hospital's mission to provide optimal care for every child within our reach. It's important to remember that these spaces have never been about the building. It's about our commitment to reinvent the path to children's health by providing the very best care for them in our region and elsewhere. Our children are our most important asset and they deserve these facilities. Critical to this reinvention is superior consumer access and exceptional patient experience and innovative collaborative care models. These are the key reinvention areas of our strategic roadmap. Our goal is to bring together all these services needed to deliver specialized outpatient care in a setting that's focused on patients and families' needs. The goal is to match the transformation inside the patient tower to the outpatient setting. While we typically see six or 7,000 inpatients each year, we far exceed those numbers in outpatient visits. Last year, we averaged about 380,000 visits a year. That's a lot of kids who need specialty care. Today, we invited two physicians who will be working in these new spaces to share the impact on our families. We invited Dr. Evans, Chief of Pulmonary, and Dr. Albert, Chief of Orthopedics, to speak because they are the division chiefs of two of our specialties where we ranked in the top 50 in US News and World Report. So Dr. Evans. Thank you, Debbie. Um, as we see more complex patients, we're particularly excited to see how this new facility will uh, support our patients' experience and their access to healthcare. Uh, I'd like to let you see this concept through the eyes of one of our typical patients with complex medical uh, issues. Let's, for sake of a name, call her Sophie. Uh, Sophie's a little girl who is very vibrant, active, but she is wheelchair bound. And so for her to come in and out of this facility is often very difficult and she has long days. Mom is very good at scheduling multiple appointments so they can minimize the number of times they come to the facility, but that makes for an exceptional long day for them. So it starts off with them trying to navigate the parking garage and hopefully they can get a parking spot close to the doors. Uh, they may start off with a visit with me in the Taggart area in my clinic. And then from there, uh, they may need to then navigate down to the OPC building for some therapies in the basement, followed by an appointment up on the fourth floor to see Dr. Bates. Uh, after that, she may end up needing to go to the other end of the facility to lab and x-ray to have some studies obtained and then a break for lunch in the cafeteria and then to have a day where she might then have to go down and see Dr. Albert uh, early afternoon, finish her day with Dr. Young in the ophthalmology suites and then before exiting the building, stop by pharmacy on their way out. So. Uh, there's, you can imagine how many miles she puts on her wheelchair and how many steps mom takes uh, just in a one day visit here. So with the new facility with uh, surface level parking right outside the door and having access to pretty much all her providers and lab, x-ray, pharmacy, and the cafe right in this facility will be a great uh, opportunity for them to come in and have a much better experience much better access to this facility and hopefully uh, you, we could all see how that's going to greatly increase and improve their experience. Uh, now I'd like to hand it over to Dr. Mike Albert, Chief of Orthopedics. 
Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, uh, Dan. Our musculoskeletal care team consisting of orthopedic surgeons, sports medicine doctors, physical medicine and rehab physicians and our large rehab unit are absolutely thrilled to be all together in our new outpatient tower. We will be alongside our rheumatologists and comprehensive services uh, such as our pain clinic, pre-op teaching space, and multidisciplinary clinics that help care for cerebral palsy and myelomeningocele patients. This space meets the needs of our patients in one easy, accessible area. We have designed this space to benefit our most complex patients through access to new state-of-the-art equipment, such as HydroWorks treadmill that adds the benefits of aquatic rehabilitation to our space. This building will allow the musculoskeletal service line to grow through additional exam rooms and more imaging capacity. We also have a bioskills labs, not only for patient education, but also for physician and resident skills and education. In addition, as Dan mentioned, the nearby surface parking will be a win for the families and children that we care for that have mobility challenges such as casts, wheelchairs, crutches, and walkers. Uh, thanks again for uh, allowing uh, the musculoskeletal care team to participate in today's virtual topping off, and it's back to Debbie. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Albert and Dr. Evans. So now that we've learned a little bit about what this new outpatient specialty care center is going to do for our kids, you're probably wondering what a topping off ceremony is and why is it important? So during a topping off ceremony, the final beam is placed inside the building, which symbolizes bringing life to the building and is considered a really important project milestone. Over the past two weeks, the final beam was inside our atrium for employees and patients to sign. When you see the beam rise, you'll notice that there's something on top of the beam, which is a big part of the topping off tradition. An evergreen tree is placed on the final beam with an American flag as a symbol of respect for the construction process. The tradition goes back to when structures were built from wood, which is symbolized by the tree. You notice something special though about our tree. It's de dedicated with ornaments. These ornaments represent the new icons that will be on each floor of the new building. The UFO, butterfly, eagle, paper airplane, and owl. On the back of each ornament are words of inspiration from our employees, sharing how they go above and beyond, just like the final beam will go above and beyond to be placed on the building. So I'd like to share some of the comments that our staff wrote on the back of these ornaments. Soar like an eagle and live life to the fullest in everything you do. May medical imaging soar to new heights in our new space. We are dedicated to the safest, most compassionate care of our kids. We believe in our experts and that's why this is where we bring our kids. I hope each child and family will enter our doors and feel the care and love. I want our families at Dayton Children's to have experiences like the butterfly, soaring through the sky, no worries or cares, just flying free in the air. The butterfly is so light and delicate, a masterpiece of nature and a symbol of hope. So now it's time to see the final beam go into the new outpatient specialty care center.
Thank you so much to everyone who joined us virtually today for this incredible milestone in our history. Stay safe and have a great day.